The Ryzen 3 3200G is an amazing choice for an entry-level gaming PC built as it can give you a 1080p gaming experience and some of the most popular titles. But if we are being honest here, the 3200G is not enough to run heavy titles alone. So, for enjoying that you need a dedicated GPU as it becomes important to know which GPUs are suitable and can work smoothly with the Ryzen 3 3200G. But first, let's talk about the background of the Ryzen 3 3200G. As we know, Ryzen 3 3200G is a successor of 2400G, so it has faster processing power with higher clock speed that led people to low-end PC builds. But before buying, you need to consider some of the things that you can help you to buy the best GPU for your PC build. The first and most important is the price, so you can have the good GPU within your budget. After that comes the AMD versus NVIDIA. We won't go into details, but you can choose any of these brands. Next comes the cores. The main task, of course, is generally the same as of the cores found in a GPU. Then comes the memory type, bit rate and clock speeds, and last, the power requirements. Now, let's start with the 5 best GPU for Ryzen 3 3200G. But before that, make sure to check the description box and make sure to like, share, and subscribe and press the bell icon so you can get the notification for the new videos. The fifth number is GeForce GTX 1650. The Ryzen 3 3200G and GTX 1650 combination is good enough and suitable for gaming as it gives you a very enjoyable gaming experience where the average FPS will stay more than 60 at 1080p high settings. The product has CUDA cores of 1280 with a base frequency of 1530 MHz and turbo frequency of 1725 MHz. And the memory type of GDDR6 with a minimum PSU recommendation of 350 watts. The pros of this product is that it is silent as performance than a GTX 1050 Ti. As there are pros for every product, there are cons too. The cons is that there are better alternatives available plus it is not a fit to play all the titles and the main problem starts when you want to play heavy titles on such low budget configuration. So an alternative to this problem is GTX 1650 Super, which can help you to play all the high quality games on high settings. The games that can be played are Valorant, Battlefield 5, GTA 5, Apex Legends, and many more. For more information on the product, please check the description box. The fourth number is NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660. NVIDIA GeForce 1660 is another good GPU to be paired with Ryzen 3 3200G because it is good enough to handle the popular titles produced at an average FPS rate of around 55 to 65. The GTX 1660 is even capable of handling day-to-day -day tasks like a pro as it can tolerate low to medium CPU heavy video edits with the bottleneck of less than 10%, confirmed by various forums. The product has a CUDA cores of 1408 with the base frequency of 1530 MHz and turbo frequency of 1785 MHz. And the memory type is GDDR6 with the minimum PSU recommendation of 450 watts. As for the pros, contains of it has superb 1080p performance plus it requires less power and it is quiet and stable in the long run. And the cons is that it is based on outdated NVIDIA Pascal architecture. Apart from that, this product works so well for the game lovers as the gaming experience is good and the games which gave an average of FPS between 55 to 75 are Cyberpunk 2077, Watch Dogs, Last of Us series and many more. Where the games which gave an average FPS of 80 and above are PUBG, COD Warzone, Hitman and many more. The third number is NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super. If you want a graphic card in Ryzen 3 3200G that contains NVIDIA for gaming rigs, then your first choice should be 1660 Super, as it has the least bottleneck after AMD's Radeon RX 570, plus it can handle all the 1080p gaming in the highest of settings for most games. And since we have used this configuration in the past, we found no problem running heavy titles and in some of the games. The FPS averaged around 70 to 80 at high settings. The product has a CODA cores of 1408 as is same as the NVIDIA GE4 1660, but it also has NVIDIA Turing architecture. With 1530 MHz core clock and 1785 MHz boost clock speeds, 
which helps the needs of the games as the pros like it has higher frame rate plus it stays at nominal temperature and doesn't get heated and is low on non-bottleneck configuration and cons like it has few RTX features but they can be added by other devices. The games like CSGO and Valorant average an FPS rate of 100 plus and other games like PUBG, Warzone, Fortnite, and Battlefield 5 average an impressive FPS of 80 plus and many more. For more information, check the description box below. The second is AMD Radeon RX 580. The Ryzen 3 3200G and Radeon RX 580 is an ultimate combo for low-end PCs as this is a combo in which you can calculate it in video editing, graphic editing, or 1080p gaming adding to that this product is ideal CPU for Ryzen 3 3200G for minimum bottleneck and high-end performance and this combo is capable enough to serve you for years end. It is number 2nd on our 5 best GPUs because it can handle 1080p gaming with high settings with 75 frames per second plus the bottleneck is very low from other products we have mentioned before and this product is versatile. The advantage is that it has no frame drops which runs any game on 1080p high settings having low noise levels and the disadvantage is that it uses more power than Nvidia but there are worse disadvantages there so there is one is not that serious. And the games which can be played at an average frame rate higher than 80 FPS. The product contains stream processors of 2,304 and compute units of 36 with base frequency of 1,257 MHz and turbo frequency of 1,340 MHz and the memory type is GDDR5 with minimum PSU recommendation of 5,000 watts. This all for the Radeon RX 580. Now, let's get into the final product but before that, don't forget to check the description box for more information of the given products, prices, and other details. Finally, the first is AMD Radeon RX 570. Most gamers will usually recommend Ryzen 3 3200G with Radeon RX 570 for a low price PC build and smooth gaming at 1080p and we are on the same page just like the other gamers with a decent FPS that average around 60 plus can handle low to medium video or graphical processing and for the newbie who loves the game, it is everything to keep him or her entertained for years. The advantages of this product is that it is basic and economical setup with average around 60 to 65 FPS and it has low to non bottleneck and the disadvantage is that it has heating issues. But to tackle this issue, cooling fans can be used. The product contains stream processors of 2048 and compute units of 32 with base frequency of 1168 MHz and turbo frequency of 1244 MHz and the memory type is GDDR5 with minimum PSU recommendation of 450 watts. We have finally come to an end with our 5 best GPUs for Ryzen 3 3200G. But if you are eager to know more about the product and are in need to find new information about the product, then please check the description box below and we hope you find this video helpful for the search of the best GPUs and let us know in the comments which one is your favorite and suitable product for you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.